What city you think got the best barbers and who really hold it? Houston down? killed my shit. <laughs> they faded my shit, had my shit looking like motherfucking yellow bees. I'm like, man, damn. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Shit, no cap, though. They damaged the damn shit. Dog, he was hurt. Check this out, man. Ox Money back with another one. This episode is so special to me, man. I got two of my brothers here, two of my favorite people in the entire universe, man. Yeah, we had to come to Detroit to come check my niggas out, man. We got GT, Babyface Ray, in the building. First of all, I want to apologize to my niggas, right? Because you just talked about how I pulled up to the D to shoot the 365 video and all that. Yeah. Man, the whole point of that shit was to get B-roll to Detroit, get the whole city feeling. I watched the video, we could have shot that shit anywhere. Nope. <laughs> we was at a hockey ring, we could have shot that motherfucker in LA, Atlanta. Okay. Anywhere, but my niggas came back home. Thing was fire though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a great feeling. That shit was. That, that shit, that it, it did that give shit it like the, the authentic, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was Detroit a real experience town. too. Like, we weren't used to shooting videos like that. Like, yeah, that yeah. was a real. Yeah, we was following your lead too. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, for real. Nah, so shout out to my niggas, man. And the video was inspired by the movie Four Brothers. I don't know if people know that, but uh, with Tyrese and Andre 3000 and all them. And that was filmed in Detroit. So that was like the whole. Shout out Zona Man, man. Shout out yeah, to shout Zona out Man. Zona. Let's talk about, before we get to the shit, let's talk about where do you think that y'all make y'all best like creative efforts at, like just as far as making music, or other than Detroit, obviously, cause that's home, but putting albums together, what city do you think gives you the most? For me, I say Cali. Yeah, why's that? I don't know, Cali just got that feel to it. Mm -hmm. Like, that shit just feel good out there. Yeah, yeah I could say the Bay Area too. Like I did, I did just a lot. Just that whole I did good. West Coast. Yeah, yeah it, I don't know, man, what it is. Like Face say, it's just that vibe. Like, Good weed, good vibes, like it just be it be straight. Easy going shit. Mm -hmm. Ray, uh so what where'd you record? I wanna talk about the two albums. I wanna talk about face, I wanna talk about mob and what the difference is recording both of those. Yeah. Where'd you record face at? You know it's crazy. Face I kinda did um I was in Atlanta a lot, fucking with Pluto. Mm -hmm. So I did a bunch of it there. Then I came home and started like just curating it, doing different shit, and then I have flew to Palm Springs. Oh shit! You know yeah. what I'm saying for a couple of days and just like put it together out there, mm -hmm. different ideas and just lined it up. So. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of been my since then. That's kind of been like my formula. Like we formula. just yeah, yeah. yeah, we just move around, record, and then when it's time, like we know we need to do, we just go out there and just mm -hmm. put it together. And then would you record my bat? Was that kind of the same process? Same process, yeah, you feel yeah. me? Because I've been on moving around doing shows, so you know we just keep the uh, engineer with his type of shit. So if we somewhere, yeah. set it up, record. We catch one, we catch one. If not, if not. Yeah, man, those are two of my favorite hours, man. So shout out to my nigga Ray on that. GT, we was talking a little bit last night about obviously, you know, you tell your story over beats and everything like that. But for real, you want some behind the scenes trying to get the whole Detroit scene. Yeah, like uh, some executive type in. shit. Yeah, yeah, I could see myself doing that. Like we played it. Like I could speak for myself and Ray. Like we mm -hmm. played a major part in a, a few artists. Like yeah, yeah. a lot of their success. But you know, we never got. We don't want no credit for it. Like yeah, if yeah. we do get credit, it come directly from them. But as far as people knowing that we like professionally help people, like in a real way, it's it's like time for them to know that. Now you get what I'm saying? Like right. it's time. Bro. In simpler terms, I'm just doing what was done for me. When I was coming up, people that showed me love, you know what I'm saying, gave me the battery when I didn't even believe yeah. that wouldn't even involve the music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They kept me around shit to make me know that it was bigger than Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I just try to continue to do the same thing. And that's what we on. Who do you think your mentors were when it came, when it came to coming up? Man, so many people that yeah. I probably to grab stuff from that. They don't even know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Plenty street cats. Plenty musical people, you know what I'm saying? Like it's too many to name for real. Like I, I really like watch and soak up shit and learn the right the right shit and the wrong shit. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. take a little bit of both and just add it to, you know, my shit. What up? Just from y'all eyes, where do y'all see the whole Detroit scene where it's at and where it's going? Cause right now I feel like honestly Detroit might have it as far as just like the hottest and freshest and newest sound. Ain't no mic. Yeah, for real. If everybody focus up and just lock in, like we really the ones for real. Three, That's three. what it is. It's like all everybody about, just gotta, you know. It's all about focusing and losing that ego and, and yeah. pushing people, everybody to get to the next level. And like. I feel like that's what, kind of why Detroit is where it is. Cause I feel like ego is just not involved when it comes to that type of shit. All y'all helping each other lift up and, and get to where it need to be at. And we were talking a little bit last night too about just how Houston and Detroit have these two it's kind of synonymous in just the whole hustle and shit, like very independent, very, you know, ground, fucking just guerrilla marketing, all that type of shit, independent type of shit. Uh, what do y'all think that shit comes from, for real? Just, you know. Detroit had come from the hustler mentality. Yeah. Like, a lot of the rappers that's on not probably didn't even think they'd be here, so beyond music, they was already trying to hustle. So now that we making money off rap, it's kind of like, 
I ain't gonna say it's content, but it's like we making money off rap, so they not even thinking past we making the money. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So Houston probably like that too, but y'all more locked in on the business side. Once we figure out the business and how to capitalize yeah. off the moves and stuff, mm. it'll be you know it'll be crazy. Yeah, yeah. I think, in my opinion, I think Houston got some of the best hustlers I ever saw in my life. Right. Like as far as like, yeah. the, I, I feel the same way about Detroit. Like no, nah, bro. Like they they either they got some good ass credit or they <laughs> there's some <laughs> shit going on down there. Yeah. Everybody got twenty cars, big ass mansions and shit like that. Like and Ben had it though, you know. Yeah. So like it just it's it be inspiring though. Yeah, it's just a thing because we don't grow up with that industry feel. You know, obviously we're not in New York or LA or even for Atlanta sure. Y'all like underground that. kings though. That's yeah, that's yeah. the main thing about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pimp C, Bun B. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Life, yeah, yeah. Uh, Slim Thug, Mike Jones, <laughs> Pim, all Ball people Ball. that just blaze their trail. Like they yeah. real. You know it's what I'm saying. Still relevant right now. Like Slim Thug is still to me Slim Thug. He ain't got to revamp himself or do nothing crazy. That's right. still Slim. He's still, he's still outside. He's still you know. Man, all that type everything. Of and even just referencing back home, we got this song by Zero called Mo City Don. I don't know how much y'all know about it. I know about Zero. Yeah, I don't yeah. know about that song in particular. But yeah, he from my hood. Song. He from me and Kim. He from the Mo. So when you play Mo City Don, it's over with. Like everybody know every single word. Don't even cut the shit off because you know I'm saying that's just what's going on in the club. Whatever the fuck going on. What's like Detroit? Obviously we got a first day out now with T Grizzly and everything. But what's like some anthems to Detroit where it's like, all right, you play this shit, the whole spot just knows going up. I mean, or is it more local? Like, is it like, all right, this side of Detroit, fuck with this, uh, and that side of Detroit, you got fuck with the that. boy, boss of it, get this money, yeah, like to play that. ice with, where everybody gonna know it, or yeah. like everybody in the club gonna know the shit. Like, mm -hmm. you got ice so far gone, Street Lord Wine, yeah, yeah, yeah. shit like that. That's real underground that's like, for y'all. Like, like y'all have to go. That's you like said, underground what? main street Lord Wine. That's yeah, like yeah. underground mainstream shit to us. Okay. Like that's like that's like ghetto gospel. Like. Yeah, I know Blade Icewood. I ain't never heard that. Street Lord Wine was in the same group as Blade Icewood. Okay, where? They the street lords. What so, year was this? Shit, all the way from the nineties on up. Yeah, yeah. They, they been thugging forever. Who was your biggest inspirations when it came to making? Was it even a Detroit artist, or was it more when y'all wanted like a worldly sound? Or? On the low, we was our own inspiration. Uh, like how yeah. used to exactly. Um, Cause it doesn't sound like some old like you trying to recreate. No, anything. I was just about to say, damn, yeah. there we motivated. We've been ourselves, doing this like, shit for so long, Chase on the low, bro. We I used yeah. to pull up the bro house when we was kids and write raps. We mm -hmm. probably fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, go to the studio back then, type shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So, we bro, we used to hold like I'd be holding the mattress up for face till he done with his verse. He hold the mattress up for me. That was our sound proof and shit. Like we still rapping. A house who had roaches, we couldn't even sit down for real. No cap. <laughs> That's how Literally dedicated though. we was to it. Like, and we went saying? every day. It wasn't like we were trying to avoid this house because it had roaches or not. We knew this is what we had to do to get this music that we wanted. And to we do. ain't know nothing about like record sales or being our fan or nothing. Yeah, yeah, we no really just drove on and just fucked it to work. Yeah. How do y'all? How did y'all even meet? What is, what is seventh this grade? Yeah. yeah, he was in the same middle school, uh, in the same. You know, band because band. you won't even know and shit like that. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. me, I don't. Me and Pace, dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we grew been, up together. We literally. grew up together. We was in the same band, same everything. Like, that shit mm -hmm. just my dog. Like, yeah. night and day shit. Yeah. He the total opposite of me, though. So at what point did y'all start decide to start Wavy Gang, like the whole... No, like it actual. started with like Team Eastside first. Like, I'll take yeah. you back. Before Team Eastside, we That's used to all meet up That's some shit you don't know. You see, you, right. you know about Peasy. Yeah, of course, Peasy. You know yeah, about Dame, Dame Dot. Yep. Snoop. We all used I to know, be. I know all the names individually, but I don't know. We used to all be in the same group. Yeah. yeah, we was all called Team group. Eastside. You yeah, feel okay. me? So yeah, even back before then, that, dog, like me and Face, we used to go to these studios, bro. This they said crib. I never forget that shit. The whole Detroit would be there, dog. Yeah. Like even the girl rappers, like, and we used to get on this little app. Remember that app? Used to the play radio these songs? show. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and go at it. Yeah. Said down there like beef something like you were here. Have a little diss track one week, yeah. next week another yeah. drop his. But like, we always been into music and believing in. We done brush shoulders with Days Love before she got going. Yeah, we done brush shoulders with right. T Grizz before he got I was the first person on like, Days you know? Love album, mm -hmm. on her oh, first really? album that she ever dropped. I probably was the only feature. What's the name of the song? We got play that shit. What's uh, it's I don't even remember. Yeah, it's what on it? her Sell Soul yeah, CD. Yeah, yeah. Her okay. first album, Sell Soul. I know. Yes, sir, man. Hey, that's my dog. So check this out. We got to man. You know this Ox Money and um. It's not a sports-based show, but we got to talk about sports, bro. Every city we go to, we got to talk about sports. That's that job. I love sports. And uh, we got to talk about y'all Pistons, man. Just a little bit. No my n****s, though, so. I, I believe. I believe, bro. I ain't tripping. And I feel like the Rockets are in a similar, a similar position, a similar spot. So what what do y'all think y'all need right now? Just if you could change anything. Wimby Yama Yama. 
<laughs> What's his name? How you pronounce it? Say his name. I don't Yamba know. Yamba. He went to Yamba. He had block his <laughs> shit from half court, then run and dunk that bitch. We need a dude who confident, bro. Like, yeah, the yeah. team ain't weak, bro. We need a dude who just gonna be like, Victor. man, give me that yeah. bitch. You yeah. feel me? At the end of the game, where it's going now, like, we need a real superstar. Once we get a superstar, then I feel like we're gonna be straight because want to play yeah. like, you feel me they play it's hard it. it's hard on the floor for yeah. sure it's just yeah it's just it's a confidence thing you got two people yeah it's like you got two people that's overconfident <laughs> the other person ain't really too much there yet Shout to my pisses too man keep yeah. y'all head up nah, i'm still with y'all boys sure, man. man um how y'all feel about dylan brooks in houston oh dylan brooks in houston. he give me all hell down soon. there nah because he he always the guy that we're like oh he, you that's the one when you want on your team type yeah. shit. Okay. He, he he wanted them nooses. He been turning like, up too. I ain't gonna lie. Tur- and the thing is, I, I honestly I wasn't really felt because I like straight hoopers. Like I like Steph and that's like all right, bro. You know I'm coming to drop thirty, right? Like like that. But when I looked up his numbers, like he averages damn near twenty. Yeah, he ain't yeah. no blood yeah. That's a mental thing he doing to them too. Like that's yeah, yeah. basketball ethics right there. Like what he doing is what. He doing it on just a raw way that Draymond do it and shit like that. Like that bully ball. Like yeah, it's yeah. all the get, same shit. Yeah, it's all the same. It's all the same. The, it's, the league yeah. need that too, for real. Okay. Cause after LeBron is really not no face they of the do. league. Yeah. I feel like we got to turn this into some whole. It's going to be a circus when LeBron lead is yeah, it's, it's, any, it's every man for itself. But what I was going to say is that the spot was not empty yesterday. Like, no, it, was still, it wasn't empty. It was cool. It's, it's still, it's it's still, still in the deep. <laughs> Like yeah. they gonna support this shit whether we go. They don't give a damn if you win or yeah, you I was about to say they. Gonna, <laughs> you see, we got club booths in that. <laughs> that shit lit, not for real. Ice cam, ice like, camera. They, they going to show his I'm shit off with the little Caesars, man. That shit is dope as hell. Um, so how, why you fuck with uh sports? Why did you play sports growing up and shit? Hell right? yeah, I've been hoping. But fuck, yeah. before niggas knew me. For oh yeah, I seen the crew league. Right? How yeah. was that? I'm the best. To play basketball in Detroit. Oh shit! I don't, I, he, hey, don't look at me. I got a left corner. I'm looking for yeah, I'm looking for the cosign. I'm looking to the the whole. Know so, over there, he know. You yeah. feel me? Like I'm telling you, he can all city know. A, he get all hoop a couple. Yeah, Everybody know yeah, that. I see some footage now. I'm not gonna lie. I just be bullshitting, but when it get down to that, I'll fuck it up. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ray, GT, you play sports? I played back in when I was a kid. <laughs> and now what? Not grown. When I found out I wasn't gonna grow, when I found out I wasn't gonna grow, what the fuck am I out here about to be going against a six eight, two hundred pound UFO who can damn near move me out the way and slam dunk that? Not me. I can't be the on prime ESPN like yeah. on a, on a bad. You be a coach though for sure. I was just Hell telling yeah, my man to hurt my feelings when I got to ninth grade and I ain't make the basketball team because I thought I was going to the NBA. Yeah. And I ain't make the team. That shit like broke my heart. I ain't know what I was gonna do in life. <laughs> no cap. You thought you was going to the league? I was who dribbled the ball to the court every day like play basketball. Yeah. No See, it really got me fucked up though. I would Why literally because I, I can shoot better than sixty five percent in the. In Detroit, they can't shoot. David Buster's don't count, bro. David Buster's nothing. Go on, let's go over there to the other to the, to to the, the studio gym. next door. For we went to David Buster the other day. And ain't miss a shot. I think it's because he's been in the gym, so he's like, you know, oh, yeah, the really, you got so he been popping the, shit lately. My yeah. arms is just like on a string right now. But really, if we go to a real gym and you put the money down, I'm gonna win. I don't care who you is. Like, yeah. you gotta be Stephen Clay and them to get me out of here easy. Like, get you out the knockout look, round. I'm already half white, man. I got a JJ Reddick jumper. <laughs> feel me? This shit down there. Automatic. Now he's proud to be half white when it comes to shooting a basketball. Yeah, <laughs> like that was my main thing growing up. I was like, damn, I can run to the corner and hit that bitch. I know I'm going to make it three. Yeah. Because I, I wouldn't, I can't get in the post with you. I can't. What's the other shit called? I can't I don't know what Baby I played can't. football too, though. Don't he ain't even telling y'all. You that. can play football. Yeah, I played quarterback and I played receiver. Oh, you say you got the accuracy? Safety. That's what you're trying to say. You got no, it. I played on a real like I won championship in football. Like growing up, I really thought we had a chance at being football players. But like yeah, but like I said, bro, we grow up it was huge, bro. Lifting four fifty and shit yeah, in the no. weight room. I'm Michigan like, oh different. no, I'm straight. Michigan different. Shit change in the summer when you uh think you was sports. Ran past you, old school <laughs> banging music. You, like, you know what? You gotta figure it out. Man, I'm straight. Dog, you gotta figure that shit out. Cool on this shit. One more thing, bro. About about the consistency is between Houston and Detroit, bro. We gotta talk about the strip club, bro. Yeah. And how much they mean to Detroit. What what part does the strip club play in y'all lives now? Is it more of an industry thing where it's like, let me pop in here and see what's going on? I grew up in a strip club. Yeah, yeah. Since 16, that. 17, going to the strip club, sneaking mm-hmm. in that every day. Yeah, Which one? Uh, well, my first strip club I went to was All Star. Used to be on Eight Mile. They closed down now, but we used to go to Sting a lot. Uh-huh. Feel me? 
they ain't really on shit right now. But right now, the strip club that's popping in the D, Ace of Spade. Ace of Spade. What's the one on Eight Mile? Uh, Truth. Truth. Truth is going crazy. And what's yeah, the difference Ace between Spade. all these? Like, why would you go to one over the other? I would go to Ace of Spade. Just, to, just yeah. got it right now. It's like they got the like the top. But it ain't like y'all strip clubs. Y'all don't go to sleep like. Yeah, nah. Y'all shit. And like y'all six got in the some real shit that's dragging some real way. Yeah, it's serious. Down there. It's serious, but I'm not going. Thick lie. ass. <laughs> one bread fed shit down there, dog. I spend my days in the Houston club. I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah, nah. It's, 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 what time they close out here? What time are you? Two doing? in the morning. Y'all yeah. don't get sleepy? I get sleepy, bro. Because y'all niggas party at six in the morning, wake up, so go to brunch, to then party. Like, <laughs> Here's the thing about that shit. First of all, you know, I lived in New York for like 12 years, right? So I used City to come on. never sleep. Maybe like once a month, just fuck with the homies and shit like that. And honestly, before COVID, it didn't, for me, I'm speaking for me, it didn't used to be like that, right? Like you have a great night or whatever, but now since COVID, everybody coming down there and it was like the only city open. Uh, us, yeah. Atlanta, and Miami for real. Uh, you go down there and that's when the whole Sunday fun day turned into some whole shit. You go to brunch at twelve o'clock. You go into the strip. You yeah. might not go to sleep till six in the morning. <sighs> that's some like new shit to me, shit. at least. And that shit is just remarkable to to see it. But it is like a whole industry now with with the strip clubs in Houston. And, and all that type of vibe, and honestly, them bitches is bad as hell. So, what's the outside vibes here in Detroit right now? What, do y'all, fuck when I know y'all live like a little out the way now, cause y'all up, but y'all can't be fucking nah, around with that. Nah, hell no, we be popping off though. Yeah, yeah. Fuck all of that. Uh, and it's love with tequila, Ace of Spade, sloppy crabs, the shit y'all went to last night. Sloppy crab, we can stay there at the six in the morning. Yeah, give a fuck that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's where it's at. Uh, what what day is like the best day in Detroit? Any day. Thursday to Sunday. Thursday to Sunday. Thursday but to you, Sunday. it'll be a random ass day. Some shit going on. Yeah. It depends on how you feeling though. Okay. Yeah, we gotta figure that shit out. I'm I'm not gonna lie, bro. That's what a uh, a uh, two and a half hour flight from, from Houston. I gotta we both on the same little you know on the map type shit. I gotta pull up to this shit. It was calm like, last night in there, wasn't it? You said where? It was calm last night, huh? It was chill, but I would expect that on Check a Monday. That. I would never leave my even, I would never even leave my crib on a Monday okay. if I was at the crib. So Shay Bay was cool though. <laughs> nah, I'll, Houston, Kevin, no. that's a cat. That's cat. I'm not I'm just saying I'm not leaving my okay. crib though. That's the one day I'm like, all right, I'm on the call of duty. I'm on the. You know fuck with the duty. I'm fucking with the duty, bro. I know yeah, you be you on the duty. You gotta add me. You got PS5. Yeah, you yeah, know that. You, did you play the new shit yet? Hell yeah. Don't man. neither one of you just want to play me a man right now. I've been practicing. I ain't shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who your team? You play with the Lions? Hell no. Nah. I play with Miami. Oh yeah, yo, you want some speed shit? He just throw the ball. I just throw the ball fast. Tyreek Tyree Hill fast. go far. I just throw yeah. the streak. Don't let B know that though. What What you think about the new uh Warzone? It's cool. I really just got into Call of Duty probably like this year, so yeah, me too. I'm like, January, I'm a newcomer. I'm a newcomer. I'm just happy to be there on the team. <laughs> I'm the just from carried. around, just talking shit about life shit. I ain't even getting no kills. I'm running around, just running around that shit resurging, <laughs> just talking shit. That they just fuck with me because it's me, but they getting all the kills. And they I think it's a resurging, just fucking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I say this all the time, bro. And I'm gonna plug my this. I'm not doing my three things is on or whatever, but my homie Cliff, bro, he from Pontiac. He makes the most fire pizzas, bro. Like for us, he's Cliff. Yeah, yeah. Cliff, he in Pontiac. Yeah, yeah. No, Cliff Skywalker. Skywalker. He had Cliff a Skywalker. show on all type of shit on Netflix. Bro. Yeah, exactly. I was on the show. I did the joint. I did it in Chicago. That's hard. Um, I Insta, love Cliff. Insta show. I done been in that motherfucking side door so many fire. times, boy. Man, face nah, the motherfucker. Crazy. He got a joint when called Cliff Fillet Pizza, bro. He put the Chick Fil A nuggets with the, his own sauce on the shit. Huh? Yeah, he got some he wild got, shit. He got he got a spicy shrimp pizza yeah. though. That bitch so fire. You nah, it's crazy, bro. It's right. crazy. So I mean, I had that, and then I, I every time there. I come to Detroit, bro, I talk about Sweetwater Wings. I don't know if y'all think that's some we gas stuff. on that shit. I done yeah. bought stuff from some Sweetwater Wings, the City Wings. The City Wings? Yeah. What's the difference? They bar small stuff. as hell. It's bar- bomb. <laughs> you know how them, them City Wings yeah, bitches be too big sometimes? They be too big sometimes. Too big sometimes. I don't care who you know. I don't care how bougie she is. You take her to get some of them chicken and fries, you gonna see it's the real me. her. Bugs. She gonna sit there and lick her fingers to the last drop of them bitches. <laughs> It's the city wings. Hey Chase, how that trap and see if I can get one of them APs or something. Yeah, I was, Hell talk, yeah. You talking about them APs, man. You yes, did. I, wear shout a, shout I just wear them I got a different you know? one on the day. But, okay, okay. Uh, Damn. Okay. I got a different one on the day. Yeah. You know. But now nah, shout out to Jay. We, we talked about it a little bit last time. We uh with Tay, we talked about the AP shit. But um nah he did his thing, bro. I'm not gonna lie. What? That bitch the hardest shit thing. ever, man. You know he blueprinted up. It's the hardest collab rapper I ever saw as a rapper, dog. Oh, all times yeah. I gotta give it to him, dog. That was the hardest collab, and he didn't say a word about it at all. That's what hurt me the most. When I seen that bitch drop, I was like, dog, you get a memo. Yeah. 
Like, damn. I know DJ Khaled punching the air about that <laughs> motherfucker right now. <laughs> Ray, I was going to ask you, bro, especially with your career, it's a very special thing, and it's very hard to, to attain it. But, you know, a lot of people I feel like are in this battle with content and all this shit, putting music out. And, you know, <laughs> if you don't put music out for a certain number of time, you're going to fall off and shit like that. I really, I really feel like you solidified yourself in that whole space of just like, if you fuck with Ray, you fuck with Ray. Like, it's not about like, oh, he ain't dropped this two years. Like, I am, I'm off this shit. It's really just a cultural lifestyle, whole belief in, in your music and what you're doing and shit. How does it feel to have? And why do you feel like people respond to you that way? Because they see me grinding so hard. So yeah. it's like elevating from the last point that I done something. Like, I just try to keep that trail going instead of just trying to put something out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And he like the ultimate humble human being. Like, when mm. you meet Ray, you would you would think he might be a little arrogant or something from yeah. his raps. But, like, he really, really the cool. most down yeah, to earth yeah. person I ever Definitely met. Definitely agree with that. Do you think you ever had, like, a moment where it just shifted? Or do you think it was just a gradual? Hell, yeah. I always talk about it. The 2020 pandemic era when I met Pluto and all that, met Bear and Line and mm -hmm. met, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Bear Line, man. Met you know I met all three of them in the same, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So around, around that time, everything shifted for me. Like everything I was doing, it kind of got complimented mm -hmm. by, you know. But just the, even in the, in the, like the, to the greater, to the greater public, do you think it was like a moment where it's like, oh shit, I woke up one day and had a million, a million new followers or was it just like a gradual, like, it was a gradual thing. exactly. Yeah, that's, I feel like as far as like fandom goes, you kind of had a, that's what I'm trying to say, yeah, yeah. Mm. And the people just fuck with it. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about this fashion shit, man. I got the two two of the freshest Detroit history sitting next to me right now. No, really one of them. No, like, you ain't really even lying real. about that nah, shit. No, I know I'm not. Really real, yeah. like, fresh ass. Doing this shit for so long. Yeah, for real. Like, that shit that you just fresh said was so factual. I don't even be knowing what where unless they get it off the mannequin they terrible at this shit <laughs> yeah. whoever styled them down there need to get their license revoked i'm mad i even made it to that point in my life where i'd be grabbing shit off the mannequin rushing yeah I mean, no but see like it, depends. I mean, myself, it depends it depends though it depends like, louis and shit like that and yeah. all other shit like that that's what you got to do i'm talking about Some shit i feel vision. like this is fashion how you just literally you it is comfortable thank you my dog and it's classy and it's clean yeah and it ain't doing too much like this is fashion like it's clean it's, mm -hmm. when you try to overdo a big ass versace shirt belt buckle <laughs> uh jeans zipper up the side or same yeah. magic chain. chain reaction yeah, yeah. Just, come on man take that <laughs> shit home <laughs> man what you doing man <laughs> all right so what's the what's the what's the rice and wrongs of detroit fashion right now what you've been seeing just around the block don't wear no tight ass nut huggers around this bitch. They gonna flame your ass. I got like, tight ass boy man's on right now. They I'm not. Sick. They, no, I can't see your pocket. Like you can see <laughs> the ID in this shit. Uh, okay. Like, you can't see your money. Nothing. Like I don't. You will really see the print. That's the look. So they just trying to rush into this shit. So you know, and might have they little sister pants on because they are mirrors. You feel me? <laughs> that's, that's Them bitches saying, leggings. Bro. You feel me? They just want to have a mirrors on. I feel like that's just a Midwest thing because even the Houston brother fashion is like. Y'all don't give a fuck for real. I was they about to say, they, it's, it's a melting pot though, nah, because it's a lot of coming down there, so it'll be a lot yeah. of country dresses shit it's going on. It's a lot of country too, shit going on, so I don't even yeah. consider that when it comes to, yeah. you know, they know they country, I ain't about to do it or whatever. Yeah, but I feel like country. the Midwest is very like competitive when it comes to this fashion shit, even with the design. That's because we come from like City Slicker and yeah, exactly. Blue Miles. Literally, that's what I think of like, when I think of They used to wear this shit, like they used to put like a lot of effort into having a mink coat matching with their suit, with their crocodile shoes on, with yeah. they. Man, and people down here, dog, they is like they dress so flamboyant. Like that's just the name for it. Like they they don't care, dog. Yeah, y'all been on tour. Y'all been across the nation, across the world. What city you think got the best barbers, and who really holds? Houston it? killed my shit. For <laughs> <one>. <laughs> <laughs> he knew that. <laughs> oh my God! Let me no. just tell y'all that a rip. Houston <laughs> <laughs> killed my shit. Said damn to it. Tore your shit up so bad. <laughs> I remember it's though. Like, Tore your oh, shit up oh, so oh. bad, dog. Literally left his shit. They had to fade. They faded my shit. Had my shit looking like motherfucking yellow beezy. I'm like, man, <laughs> damn, dog. Nah, Kept that's crazy. Shit, no cap, dog. They damaged the shit. shit. Dog. He was hurt about that shit, bro. Like specifically Houston. It was like a barber from Houston in Houston. You know what? Man. It was a who moved from Milwaukee to Houston, bro. That's why them niggas sweating bullets cutting my hair. Bro. <laughs> 
I knew he killed my shit. I was looking up like this. <laughs> he said like, he knew he killed, killed my shit. <laughs> he hit that bitch so nervous. He can't fuck up. He fucked up. He as probably fucked he up. Started. The, the thing I about still gave him a hundred. Like, bro, go yeah, ahead on. Bro, about your the business. thing about fucking up with a barber, you fuck up once, you got to fix every, you got to get a do you know I will fight over that shit, bro? Like that's <laughs> probably one thing that make me man. I'm already light skinned, bro. You damage yeah, me that's like all that. We got for real. This shit taking my. I go home, bro. That's tough, man. I did not expect you to say that, bro. But so now I'm learning from that, he was to cut my hair. I don't even allow to cut my hair no. I just wear my shit rough and just get back just, to my man and just get back home. Yeah, yeah. I know Detroit got some sturdy barber. What you and think? Your rich say he fly a barber right yeah. to his from Detroit, right step. there, wherever he at. That's crazy, bro. Dog Step y'all shit up in Houston, man. Atlanta got some weak ass barbers too, though. <laughs> Atlanta got some weak ass barbers too. Like, bro, cool. He got headband. No, nah, literally, shit. though. Atlanta. Bro, cool. GT said Atlanta got shit. some weak Atlanta got weak ass barbers too. And no, for Shorty sure. Shorty me. Sure. That bitch. <laughs> You know that be fried down, in Atlanta bro. though, so you might not know your shit killed. Literally, yeah, you geeked up for real, like spray me sideways. down, man. So much Beijing in my shit, I don't need it. I'm not, go I'm not going, bro. I'm no, not he, they not even bullshitting. They not bullshitting because Ray was really wounded about. He was wounded too. I'm not, I'm not going, think bro. about that and shit. Who don't even really be tripping too? Like whatever, bro. It yeah, is, put a hat it on. is, but yeah. you killed my Hell shit. Though? Like man, I'm not, go I'm not going, bro. Because that shit ruffled my boy. I'm not going because. This is not why I started this goddamn show, right? We had CJ on there talking about he like LA hoes more than the Houston hoes. Now he said the food week. Now y'all say the barbers week. I gotta, I gotta draw the line. Who said the food week? Houston got some of the best food I ever had. The food week. CJ, CJ came on here. Houston got some of the best season. But in respect to him, he haven't been everywhere. That you know, we gotta really bring him around. He came in. He was on training camp time. He a rookie. We gonna bring him get some good ass What's CJ from? CJ from LA. From the Inland Empire, you know, the, the IE from, from Cali. Trying to think so. what he used to eat. Because Houston got fire. LA, Houston got some fire LA food. really ain't got, like, like, I'm That's trying to think. I got cool shit, though. That's what he said, but when it comes to the barbers, it's like, all right, bro, hold on. Let's let's take it. No, nah, barbers suck. Okay. <laughs> he who ain't say your, no L.A. barber. He said, what did he say? Houston barbers who cut your hair? West Pronto, man. He, he hold it He's down, He's supreme bro. being, though. Like, y'all been out there doing your thing. That sound like a name from that down there been cutting your hair forever. He down there AI. Yeah. Name crazy. What's yeah, the name? Pronto, Pronto West. West. So yeah, that's an AI. Y'all got a robot cutting y'all hair. I ain't never seen any. <laughs> that <laughs> name West. He cut your shit like this. Like he like doing that shit so damn good. Hell yeah. So shit. Before we get up out of here, man, what y'all what was what's going on in Wavy Gang? What's working on? You know what I'm saying? I'm always working. Shout out to all man. Shout out to Samuel Shabazz. I never changed. Just uh, just I came mean, on. I changed my mind. Yeah. Excuse me. Just dropped that shit going crazy. Shout out. You love some nutty. Yeah. Hey, Shots I can't even lie. No. Brooks, B. I can't even. I gotta cut you off. That I changed my mind. Samuel Shabazz album mm -hmm. is one of the greatest pieces of work, and I'm not being biased because it's yeah. my. But go listen to it. You when go you get listen a chance. to it. And tell me no, was I lying? Yeah. Tell. I'm just gonna ask you. Just tell me. Mm -hmm. But and shout out to everybody, dog. Like V's number one in the world to yeah, me. Let's talk right about V's real quick. I was gonna ask y'all. I seen you know his album getting all these end of the year. It's crazy Rolling shit. Stone put him. Yeah. I think it's like number well top deserved. forty for sure. Well deserved. Okay, well, very well deserved. Do y'all care about shit like that when y'all like making y'all music? Fuck yeah, yeah we've been grinding so long. See, <laughs> us get it like if yeah, you yeah. Mentioned it, it's there. But it's like, like it's like it's like it's down there like it's a beautiful thing to see, dog. Mm -hmm. Like you know, like that's a real rose that grew from the concrete. Like sure. V's was. Who sat around for multiple years and never mentioned that he rapped? Mm -hmm. Like that's like, crazy. I never know. ever said he rapped. Like been around rappers forever though. Yeah. Like I know he said he took a break for a couple of years. Man, and, no, I'm talking yeah. about before he even took a break. Mm -hmm. I never knew V's was a rapper. Like he always would just come to the studio and just play the background. Like that's fire. Last thing, we do one thing on this Ox Money couch. We ask everybody to put us on the three different things. It could be a philosophy. It could be some food. It could be a movie. It could be a girl, it could be whatever. We ask everybody to put us on the three different things. So whoever's ready, I could pull us on the three different things real quick. Man, go ahead, G. I got too much shit on my head. Yeah. Up, uh, First of all, the glasses GT wearing, that's my Yeah, shit. let's, uh, let's yeah, start Yeah, we gonna put them on, can't be fuck with. Yeah. My young shawty cash, shout out my young he doing his thing with these glasses, I'm man. I'm fucking with them, I'm not gonna lie. This shit's hard. Yeah, we gonna get you a pair before you get up out of here, let's man. Um, I ain't gonna lie. I, I could, can I tell somebody something? Like, Whatever, I could tell yeah, them what yeah. I, how I feel. This, this year, you got the floor. Like, this year is about execution because it been a lot of, you know, playing, man, mm -hmm. in my eyes. Because we want to be big as we could be, but it's a lot of tightening up people got to do. Okay. 
I second that. Shout out the whole fucking cap, man. Y'all know what the fuck. You know what the yeah, fuck going man. on, man? Wavy shit, yes sir. Cap. Let's talk about yeah. Let's talk about the last thing. Let's talk about this whole entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurial mindset that both y'all have when it comes to just starting labels, starting brands, starting companies, and just in general. Because we uh, just how know how important the youth is, dog. And like the people that come up under us, they keep us relevant. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So as long as there's more visas and more and more people like that, we forever gonna be in the game. But if we were so busy trying to be self-centered people and worry about ourselves, that shit only lasts for so long. Like, it die out eventually because, you know, you ain't help nobody. For some of the artists, and I want to speak on that, some of the artists that they be trying to, you know, rush to the, the big prize at the end with mm-hmm. no work behind it. Like, exactly. me and G been working 15, 10 years, and now we just finally getting there to just do. So yeah, yeah. it's like, y'all got to put the work in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this game spoiled right now, bro. Yeah, for sure. It's a lot of post my shit for me, bro, bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we didn't even have Instagram. It's different. It's a lot different. We didn't different. have shit going yeah. up, bro. We didn't and have... And if it ain't posting your shit, don't mean it. Yeah, don't it don't mean that. It's bro. like... Man, you gotta believe in yourself pain. more than we do, bro. We gotta, you gotta push your shit more than us. Mm-hmm. That's the only way it's ever gonna work. If you push your shit more than everybody else. Yeah. I mean, well, check this out, man. Shout out to my... Babyface Ray, GTL. I love you. So much, man. Appreciate y'all. Man, appreciate love, you, love. love you for life, man. And, and just welcoming us to the city. You feel me? Y'all, I know Detroit. You gotta check in for real. So love, man. Ars Money back with another one. Yes, sir. <laughs>